again, this is Nina here with Heroes Marine Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're doing our listening and verbal training. And we're going to do this using a scripture that underscores our virtue of the week, trust. If you're ready, let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts. And to others, love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, it's good to have you here with me. Hi. I welcome you in Jesus' name. If you have your language arts workbook, you may pull it out and open it to page 137. That's 137. And you'll be exactly where you need to be for today's lesson. This week, our virtue has been trust. And we've been talking about the importance of having trust. And we know that the person we want to trust is most importantly, God, but he also has established an, um, the significance of trusting in, in people. We have to trust in our parents, we have to trust that they're going to do right by us, we have to trust our neighbors, trust that they're not going to defraud us in any way. We have to trust people all the time. We go to the doctor with the trust and trust. Trust is important and it is uh, has to be there. Otherwise, if you don't trust someone, you may not you may not treat them the way they should be treated. And so we, we want to have trust in people and have trust in the God that people claim that they know. So that's really what you're trusting. I trust God in you. <laughs> but most importantly, um, you, can trust, you can always trust in the Lord. And he's never going to let you down and steer you astray. That's just his, his character, his nature is, is trustworthy. He's, he's faithful. And he's very, very faithful and he's always there for you. And if you call out to him this very moment, he's there for you. He's just very, very good. He's that good. So with that being said, let's talk about the process really briefly. Step one, you give me your ears as you listen while Mrs. Nita recite the scripture. Step two is verbal training. I recite the scripture and you repeat after me. And step three, we repeat unto mastery. And that is you and I together will sharpen our minds by repeating the scripture enough times to commit it to memory. And if you're ready, wiggle your ears as you listen in. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Okay, it's your turn to join me. Are you ready? Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Let's try again. Be sure to repeat after me. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Good job. Okay, now it's time for us to work on committing this memory verse to memory. We're going to do this by reciting it together. Are you ready? Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Good job. Let's try it one more time. Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Yippee, we did it. Good job. I just love having you. You're such a great student. So we've learned the importance and significance of trusting the Lord and what he'll do as a consequence of that trust. He'll lead you and guide you into the right paths and into all truths. Thank you so much for joining me in today's lesson. And until next time, God bless. I'll be
your hero's body And as you study with heroes born I will be your friend